Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So today I am discussing the tool VS for the cutting tool materials and basically for the single point cutting tool materials. So what happened just you can see the metal machining process the tool is being subjected to the three different factors. First that will be the forces second important that will be the temperature and third that will be called as a sliding action two relative with the tool and the workpiece so due to these three factors the cutting tool will start giving unsatisfactorily performance which involves the loss of the dimensional accuracy increase the surface roughness and increase the power consumption requirements so that will be all our result as a tool wear so basically the, there are several factors affecting the tool wear so let us see first one tool material hardness so basically hardness that will be the first essential characteristics required for the tool materials so basically hardness that will be the tool material must be harder than workpiece materials so that will be the one factors if that will be having a less hardness is being present into the tool materials so such kind of tools that will be wear out due to the some kind of abrasions and adhesions so that will be the first one that will be affect the tool wear second one type and the condition of the workpiece so that will be once again from the good characteristics required for the tool materials so which kind of type of the tool materials and which kind of conditions of the workpiece so we already know at higher temperatures the hardness is being lowered so in case of that applications or our workpiece material it will be at the elevated temperatures so at that time our tool material characteristics that will be having a hot hardness so not only the hardness at the room temperatures but that will be the requirement of the hot hardness otherwise our tool wear is being take place into the cutting tool materials then third and the important part feed speed and depth of cut so these three are the main parameters that will be increasing the tool wears so if we are increasing any one of out of these three either speed either feed or depth of cut so that will be always increasing the tool wear if you are increasing the two of these three so that will be having a rapid wear if you are increasing all the three parameters like fade speed and depth of cut so that will be having a higher tool wears so that will be you can optimum conditions for the fade speed and depth of cut according to your workpiece material and your tool materials then important part that will be the tool geometry so basically for single point cutting tool so there are various angles like rack angle side rack angle and rip angles so you can adjusting that tool geometry according to your characteristics of the workpiece materials so you can easily controlling the tool wears then tool temperatures so basically it will be the three zones into the cutting so these chips it will be taken 70% heat tool that will be the 15% and workpiece that will be the 15% heat so you can take care about that temperatures so you can easily controlling the wear and most important part cutting fluids so whenever it will be the require for cutting of the hard materials with your tool so by the using of the cutting fluid during the cutting operations you should increasing the life of the tool or you can reducing the tool wear during the machining operations so now we are discussing with the 
different kind of tool we had take place into the single point cutting tool so let us see so just you can see over here our tool it will be look like this with the workpiece materials so for the ductile materials once it will be making the sear plane with your workpiece material so chip is being producing and for the ductile it will be making a continuous chips so the chips is flowing onto the top face of the cutting tool so what happened due to that high temperature chips so we already discussed the 70 percent heat it will be gaining by the chip materials so that high temperature chips it will be flowing onto this face so that will be having some micro wells onto this face so due to that micro wells and continuously flowing of the chips so this surface it will be wear out so for the crater wears basically generating due to the sever abrasions between the chips and the tool face so the higher temperature in tool chip interface and reaching the softening or you can say melting so basically just yes, you can see over here this zone it will be for the crater wear so the crater wear is the most common into the ductile materials which produce the continuous chips crater wear does not always extend to the tool tip but may end at the distance from the tool tip so it increases the cutting forces modifies the tool geometry and soften the tip of the tool so that will be reducing the different angles now the second one and that will be the flank wear so here that will be the flank wear so once again you can concentrate over here so that will be called as a flank of the tool so basically flank wears occurs due to the abrasions by the hard particles between tool and workpiece material so some hard particles it will be not containing with the chips but it will be separate out from here so what happened the searing of the micro wells between the tool and workpiece and the abrasion of the fragments of the built up edges blowing against the clearance face of the tool so what that will be some particles or you can say hard particles over here so that will be into the flank side so it will be passing from this so due to that passing of the hard particles onto the flank so that will be making a wear onto the flank so that will be called as a flank wear so that will be the two kind of wears it will be take place into the single point cutting tools so basically flank wear and crater wear so if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much